My name is Esther. What's yours? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best child actor performances in horror movies. I'm gonna get out of here! Just let me out! For this list, we'll be looking at the young performers who showed off amazing acting chops in scary movies. Beware of some minor spoilers lurking your way. What's your favorite performance in a horror film? Let us know in the comments below. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Sophia Lillis as Beverly Marsh It and It Chapter 2 When the audience first meets Beverly Marsh, she has to withstand torment from a bunch of her classmates with incredible toughness. She later shows a ton of kindness towards Ben after finding out that he is also mistreated. I was just late. You're the new kid, right? Now I get it. There's nothing to get. I'm just messing with you. And through Beverly's terrifying interactions with her disturbing father and Pennywise the Clown, we see her show true fear and vulnerability. I'm not afraid of you. You will be. Actress Sophia Lillis was able to capture all those emotions and more while playing the character. Throughout both films, she shows us that Beverly is a complex and free-spirited character who doesn't want to be defined by her troubled past. Lillis's layered performance made her one of the standout members of the Losers Club. Number 9. Macaulay Culkin as Henry Evans, The Good Son After Mark loses his mother, he starts staying at his aunt and uncle's house. It's there that the audience meets a mischievous cousin named Henry. Here, my two of them, so we could be brothers. Oh, well, as if one wasn't enough. Played by Macaulay Culkin, the young boy seems to be slightly creepy but overall normal. Over the course of the film, his childish pranks devolve into harming animals, causing car crashes, and attempting to take multiple lives. Say goodbye. No! Culkin's able to switch from innocent to sinister at the drop of a hat. The detached and cold way he delivers certain lines will send a chill down your spine. If I let you go, do you think you could fly? Over the span of a film, the actor truly made us believe that a vicious sociopath was hiding underneath the mask of a boy's smile. Number 8. Millie Shapiro as Charlie Graham Hereditary Charlie? Millie Shapiro gave an incredible performance as Charlie in Hereditary. Although she isn't in a large portion of the movie, she makes the best of every second she's on screen. Are you okay? It's hard to breathe. Shapiro quickly makes us believe that Charlie is just an ordinary girl with a pure view of the world. However, the actress also unveils a creepier side to her character during a few of the movie's most unsettling scenes. Who's gonna take care of me? <laughs> um, excuse me, you don't think I'm gonna take care of you? But when you die. She portrays her dark side by using remarkably few words and an iconic clicking sound. Shapiro's stellar work pulled us deeper into the movie's sinister mysteries. Number 7. Isabel Furman as Esther Coleman, Orphan The Coleman family decides to adopt a sharp and seemingly well-behaved nine-year-old girl named Esther from an orphanage, but it soon becomes apparent that their newest addition is hiding a sinister secret. What else? What do you mean? What else did you see? Nothing. I didn't see anything else, I swear. Did you tell anyone? 
While we won't give away the twist about Esther here, we can definitely praise actress Isabel Furman for taking on the role. From the moment we met her, we immediately suspected something was off without any dialogue. And Furman does an excellent job at portraying Esther as she descends into madness and starts going after anyone who upsets her. You okay? It's equally chilling and amazing to see the actress go from a girl who's a little too smart for her age to a menacing maniac. Number 6. Heather O'Rourke as Carol Ann Freeling, Poltergeist Hello? What do you look like? Actress Heather O'Rourke became part of one of the most iconic scenes in horror cinema at a very young age. She played Carol Ann Freeling, a girl whose family is targeted by a malicious spirit known as the Beast. O'Rourke instantly made horror history at the beginning of the film when she communicated with a static-filled TV in the middle of the night. Throughout the rest of the movie, she believably played a precocious child that was surrounded by evil on all sides. I should die before I wake. Dead. I pray the Lord my soul to take. That was lovely. Every time she got in danger, we were amazed at how realistically she conveyed her terror. O'Rourke's acting talents helped get us invested in Carol Ann's scary journey. Number 5. Ivana Baquero as Ophelia, Pan's Labyrinth Pan's Labyrinth's complex mix of historical drama and fantasy wouldn't have worked without Ivana Baquero. She played a girl named Ophelia who must complete special tasks for a magical fawn in the aftermath of the Spanish Civil War. Vaquero blends wide-eyed wonder, a grounded determination, and genuine fear into one fantastic performance. She's able to hold her ground on screen whether she's acting opposite a crooked captain or the horrifying pale man. The actress also makes it feel like we watched Ophelia grow into a more mature character in less than two hours. Vaquero commands this grim fairy tale with her amazing talent. Number 4. Kirsten Dunst as Claudia Interview with the Vampire Although Interview with the Vampire initially focuses on Tom Cruise's Lestat and Brad Pitt's Louis, the duo becomes a trio when Claudia enters the mix. I want some more. After she's turned into a vampire at a young age, she must live out the rest of her days in a child's body. Kirsten Dunst clearly conveys the tragedy of being unable to age as time relentlessly marches on. You want me to be Claudia, don't. Why not? Can't I change like everybody else? The actress expertly comes across as an experienced vampire without losing Claudia's childlike immaturity. Not only does Dunst create a great character, but she also holds her own against heavyweights like Brad Pitt. Snatching me from my mother's hand like two monsters in a fairy tale. And now you weep. You haven't tears enough for what you've done to me. You give her to me, Louis! Do this before you leave me! To this day, Claudia is one of the most memorable cinema vampires of all time. Number 3. Harvey Spencer Stevens as Damien Thorne, The Omen There's no way that you can talk about the scariest children in horror films without mentioning Damien. <laughs> one of the reasons he's so terrifying is because of how great Harvey Spencer Stevens was at playing the Antichrist. With just a smirk or a glance, the actor is able to strike fear into our hearts. Since Damien seems so pure of heart on the surface, his parents don't take any serious actions to stop his wicked deeds until it's too late. Please, Daddy, no! No, Daddy, no! God, help me! The sheer malice Stevens is able to convey through a facade of innocence is incredible. Damien may look nice, but you will definitely suffer if you ever cross him. Number 2. Haley Joel Osment as Cole Sear, The Sixth Sense While most people remember Sixth Sense because of its mind-bending twist, Haley Joel Osment's performance should not be overlooked. I was thinking, you're nice, but 
but you can't help me. He played Cole, an intelligent young boy who can communicate with ghosts. Although his gift initially frightens him, he decides to use his power to help the deceased find peace. Osmond shows incredible range throughout the movie. We feel his fear, believe in how intelligent he is, and tear up alongside him every time he feels grief. You came to the place where they buried her. Asked her a question. She said, the answer is every day. The Academy also acknowledged how skilled Osmond was by nominating him for Best Supporting Actor. While he didn't walk away with that prestigious achievement, he won audiences over with one iconic horror line. I see dead people. Before our top pick frightens us, here are some honorable mentions. Jacob Tremblay as Bradley Trevor, Dr. Sleep. Oh, please let me go. I won't tell, I won't tell, please. Miko Hughes as Gage Creed, Pet Cemetery. <laughs> Danny Lloyd as Danny Torrance, The Shining. I don't know. You do too, no. No, come on, tell me. I don't want to. Alex Vincent as Andy Barclay, Child's Play. Andy, no, please. We're friends to the end, remember? This is the end, friend. <laughs> Millicent Simmons as Reagan Abbott, A Quiet Place. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Linda Blair as Reagan McNeil, The Exorcist. And tomorrow night, I'll take you to a movie, okay? Oh, no, I love you. In The Exorcist, a sweet girl named Reagan turns into a hellish force of nature after she's possessed by a demon. Linda Blair pulls off a stunning transformation between those two extremes. She completely changes her acting style and physicality to become the iconic horror villain we know today. Keep away! The soul is mine! Whether she's saying an incredibly vulgar line or roaring like a demon, Blair stays completely committed to the role, and the fact that she pulled off playing the character under layers of makeup, only to go back to the innocent Reagan again, deserved praise. Fortunately, Blair was recognized with an Academy Award nomination. It was an appropriate nod to a young actress who gave one of the best horror movie performances of all time. Your mother sit here with his cash. Would you like to leave a message? Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.